Welcome back. 2013 set to be a big year for Dixie State College. The school is already anticipating the Utah Board of Regents and state legislature to approve the school to become a university. And with this change comes the possible new name, Lad Egan Life Force in St. George. And Lad, has a decision been made yet on what this name actually will be? Yeah, the decision has not been made, but three months of research and surveys has narrowed it down to three possible choices, but it's all being kept a secret until a public meeting next week. From there, a board of trustees will actually pick that new name. And the big question, of course, is if Dixie is going to remain in the name when Dixie State College becomes a university. And a new newspaper survey is shedding some light on what the community thinks. If you were picking your number one choice, a Spectrum newspaper survey shows 75 percent in favor of keeping Dixie as part of the new name for Dixie State College. It's just an interesting discussion on both sides. Spectrum digital editor Glenn Judas set up the survey. It's on top of people's minds in in this area. Of the nearly 1,600 votes, the winner was clear. Dixie State University was the top dog. With 951 picking Dixie State University, coming in at a distant second with 158 votes was St. George University. We had a tremendous amount of response. The college hired Eric Sorensen's advertising firm to conduct a much larger survey. Uh, there are some surprises. The online survey was just one part of the comprehensive research. We were able to gather uh, not just information about the name, but about the institution, their likes, their dislikes. Sorensen will present the top three names in a public meeting next week. I think you'll find in the meeting on January 9th that uh, it's, it's fairly clear. The research process has not always been easy, with public forums becoming heated debates. And top donors threatening to pull support if Dixie is dropped. There was a lot of passion, a lot of debate, a lot of open debate. And one of the great things that the institution asked us to do was to value every opinion. And that's what we did. As for that meeting that's coming up next Wednesday, 7 p.m. here on the Dixie State uh, campus at the Cox Auditorium, they're going to reveal the three possible choices, but it's not going to be a public forum, so people can't voice their opinion publicly, and uh, there's not going to be any sort of voting. The uh, Board of Trustees is going to take all that research and those three suggested names, and then they will ultimately make the decision. Heidi, back to you. And all that research, after all that, everyone really wants to keep the Dixie name. All right. We'll watch yes, this one. Yes, it's going to be interesting. Okay, lad, thanks.